have a new rug today from Revival Rugs. Kind of hard to see, but very excited to have a rug. It is pretty. It looks good. It's just like what it feel good. I really don't know. Like, I'm sleeping and this is right here. It's nice if you want stuff from there, kind of. Yeah.
Hello! Happy spring! I am so revitalized and just like full of hope and excitement because not that winter in LA is really anything to be dramatic about, but like I personally just love spring so much for like the renewal that I feel like it brings to my spirit, to my heart. I'm always just like, this is my season. This is my comeback season. Speaking of spring, I wanted to share with you guys some clothing pieces I have recently added to my collection. Spring is a season full of new growth and possibilities, and I am grateful to be working with a brand that practices just that. Cotton believes in conscious creation and consumption. They develop their products with high quality and positive impact in mind. When creating their clothes, Cotton focuses on the finest natural fibers, which will biodegrade at the end of their life cycle. They even source the cotton for their collections directly from the Better Cotton Initiative and small family-run farms in Egypt. I ordered some pieces that I knew would go well in my closet. I'm always looking for basic pieces that are high in quality as well as feel good on my body. I am such a fan of these shorts and will be wearing this dress on multiple occasions and these tops are perfect for model castings, hanging around the house, or just grabbing a coffee. With each purchase, Cotton gives back to their farming communities in rural Egypt through the funding of literacy programs. To date, Cotton has built 15 schools in the Nile Delta and Fayum regions. They're ranked as the fourth highest apparel B Corporation in North America and have been voted best for the world and community by B Corporation. There's nothing I love more than clothes that feel good on my body, look good, and serve a purpose beyond just wearing them. I feel really grateful, especially because I feel like in the past couple of weeks, I've been like, what is going on with me? Am I a little depressed? Like I was spending a lot of time watching TV, just like not really leaving my house as much as I should. And I had to take a second and be like, oh, you know what? Like it's still winter. It's okay to kind of be feeling like this. And as soon as the time changed, I, I just feel good. I like have this new rug in my bedroom. I <laughs> just like feel alive. The light in this whole apartment has shifted. It's just like chef's kiss. It's Tuesday morning. I'm having a great day. I just went outside and read my new book I'm reading, which is by Otessa Moskev. It is called Eileen, which so far so good. So far I'm loving it. That's my current read. And what else? I'm about to make some oatmeal. Lately, I've been trying to find ways to like connect with myself in a better way because I have noticed that I, <laughs> I'm a Libra and I don't know if I've ever shared that with you guys on my channel. And something that I really resonate with Libras is that they just hate being alone. And I've always hated being alone my whole life. I just like love to be with my friend. I love to be with my boyfriend. I loved as a kid being around my family. Like I've kind of been releasing the shame that the world puts on you of like, oh, like you can't be happy with others until you're happy with yourself. It's like, we literally were not like made to be by ourselves all the time. Like as much as I love living alone and having my own space and like really just like getting to curate my own vibe all the time, I love it, but I love it so much because I get to share it with other people and I think that's why I love this channel so much. But anyway, I'm trying to work on it and one of the ways I'm trying, I'm, you know, coming back to myself is like as a kid, I just loved having TV on in the background. And I just feel like in this day and age, because we have so many streaming channels, we don't really have cable. There's not really like the spontaneity of you just turning on your favorite channel and like, you know, a fun commercial is on or like your favorite cartoon. And so hence me having Avatar The Last Airbender on right now because it's on Netflix. And I'm like, I remember being a 10 year old watching this show and just loving the vibes. So yeah. That's what I'm doing right now.
at my computer at the kitchen table because I am a child and I, I am a child. And I just can never work in the same place all the time. Um, but today is an exciting email day today because I'm working with Coach Bags again, which I worked with them last year around this time for an Instagram post and I just feel very excited because as much as I hate on the internet and like doing the work that I do and how shallow it is, it is really exciting that there was, there is a version of myself that was like 16 or 17 who was just like always dreaming of getting to do the type of work that I do now and I do feel really really grateful that like I literally my to-do list today is to freaking pick out three of my favorite bags and to email them back you know and it's like it is a lot of work all this different content stuff and modeling and being on top of things especially having ADHD like I do, but like it's so worth it and it's really fun and I'm grateful that this is my job because I feel like, you know, because I know not all jobs are fun. such a nice vibe to be able to film in my room and to hang out in here with the sun on me. It's so funny because last week I was like, I'm so fed up with my bedroom. I'm so over it. Like, I hate that it doesn't get very much lighting. It's not very cozy, yada, yada, yada. And then when I said that, the brand Revival Rugs reached out and gifted me the rug that's underneath me right now and then the day I put it down was daylight savings and now I'm just like fully enjoying coziness like I can like sit on my bedroom floor which before that I was never in here it was like cold and dark and I'm just so glad that my room is not like that year round even my bathroom is brighter it's just beautiful I'm just literally soaking it up <laughs> Right now I'm getting rid of clothes, or rather trying. I feel like me with Depop, we don't get along. My brain and anything that takes more than one step, like it doesn't, it doesn't calculate in here. So take pictures, post them. No guarantee they're going to get sold. You finally do sell them. Find the clothes again, dig them up, steam them, pack them, take them to the post office. Like, are you kidding me? I have like four Tupperware containers of clothes, but at least I've gotten this one done. <laughs> surprise moment of truth I did something big something that I've been wanting to do for so many years and I'm just a little out of it because this thing has been making me so happy so full of joy it's been really helping me to be present and just like mother mother nurturing instincts flying out of me one second Everybody say hi to Demi. Or if you want to say it with a French accent, 
I will also accept Demi. Demi is a boy, he's a Siamese kitten, he's two months old, and you guys, I am so in love with him. <laughs> he's the cutest thing I've ever seen, he's so smart, he's so gentle, he's so soft, he's hypoallergenic, he's literally perfect. I have wanted a cat for as long as I can remember, honestly, since I was like, 17, 18, I didn't grow up around cats or loving them, but I would meet them and I would be like, oh my gosh, like how special. But then I also would meet cats that it just like scared me. So I kind of had this idea in my head that like cats were scary. Um, but the only thing that really, you know, intrigued me was getting a kitten. Cause I was like, okay, I can know it as a baby. You know, any, any quick movements or anything I don't see coming, you know, won't be that bad. Cause like I'll be its mother. And you guys, he's perfect. I love him. I know I kind of gave him a girl name and it's because when I got him, I was like, I just feel like he is a boy who exudes feminine energy. <laughs> and I love him. He's so sweet. But enjoying my Saturday basically is my point right now. It's just a joy to be with him. I literally could spend like hours just staring at him and playing with him. I think that he is the most intriguing animal I've ever laid my eyes on and that's exactly why I got a pet. But as much as I love being by myself in my own place, I don't actually literally love being alone. Like I don't love the silence. So I think for me, a cat is exactly what I need and I just feel like I found the most perfect one and ever since having him i feel like i've even been like overthinking less i've been just like dwelling less i just wake up and i'm like oh like i have to take care of this cat it's not time for me to sit here and think for three hours about things in my life that cause me pain and stress <laughs> Freaked out by the camera, it's so cute. Hello, folks, happy Sunday. so out of it because of daylight savings. I feel like that really messed me up in a lot of ways. And then also just getting a cat randomly kind of did that too. Where are you? Oh, you want to see this painting? Today we went to the flea market. We went to the Long Beach Flea, or as specifically it's called the Long Beach Antique Market, which happens once a month in Long Beach. And I wanted to show you guys what I got. First one was my boyfriend's pick. The guy, the seller gave us a deal. There's a glare on this. The seller gave us a deal. I like this. Like I think it, it will fit in my house. I just don't love it. You know? But I'm giving my pick. What? I mean, you pointed that out. You're like, oh my gosh, I love that one. I do, I, I did love it, like from afar, but I think it, it looks a little masculine, but it's still beautiful, and I think it will be pretty in my living room because it's like the red fish with the red rug. What's wrong with masculinity? Huh? Fine, number two, this Hawaiian flower painting, which I think is so pretty. We just love the red in this house, apparently. Demi is learning to run and to explore around the apartment, which is so cute, but then we're losing him all the time. Cause you're just running behind things, going all over the place. He's just such a little rascal. Yeah. I just love him. I just love you. Demi, we're gonna need to learn how to like get onto the camera and just like turn yourself on. Oh, there you go. Such a good kitty, then. Proud to be his mother. Hey, stop that. 
Okay, and then I have a couple more paintings to show you. This is, I literally don't know, but I'm thinking it's really pretty for the kitchen and I like the colors. Beautiful. Also gonna be cute, literally right here, actually. And then lastly is this one. This one is a stained glass situation, which is so beautiful. And I'm thinking I could put it like up there or just, I don't know, I could, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. This kitty is getting into all sorts of things. Hey, I have a scratcher for you for that reason. Suddenly I am grateful that so much in my house is very cheap and bought from Facebook Marketplace. But okay, I think this is the end of the video. Thank you for being here as I did my little spring new beginnings, plus a little spring refresh, plus getting a cat, plus, plus my first ad. Thank you for being here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Enjoy the warmth and the newness that this season brings. Goodbye.